Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me. Today we're going to talk about hollow wall setting tools and why I can't live without them now on site. This particular fixing is my preferred fixing on site just because it gives a nice sturdy finish uh, once it's anchored behind the wall. Now, as you know there are various other fixings that you can use such as a toggle and so on and so forth that in my opinion just aren't quite reliable enough. These, these little bad boys, that once they're anchored behind the wall, you can remove the bolt, put whatever you want back up, replace the shelf, fixing, whatever it is, and not worry about it falling behind or losing it. Once it's fixed, it's fixed. And I found that on site, these are my go-to fixing. So I do have two particular setting tools to hand. I've got my red one and my blue one, which, which is spring-loaded. Uh, this particular one I think was 11, 12 pounds maybe off Amazon and this was slightly dearer which I don't really know why this was about 13, 14. Those prices were as of sale when I bought them. Links are in the description so make sure you do check them out if you are interested in buying one and you can decide whether you'd like to make the investment or not. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to quickly use one and show you how easy it is. Before we start, we need to measure the anchor and to make sure that we get the right size drill bit. We don't want to get one too big or too small. Now the way to do this is either get a ruler and run it across the widest point of the anchor or get a drill bit and just put it up against it. That'll be fine too. Be very, very careful when choosing the correct drill bit. You have to get it just right because if you don't, there is two little gripping points here that you can see on the anchor themselves, just there. And those two grip into the plasterboard and stop it spinning. Now that's only if you're using it by hand and not using a setting tool. But that is something still to take into account. So make sure you get the right size. Then we're going to go ahead and pop it into our drill. Only by hand. Don't use the drill to tighten it up. It's bad practice. <laughs> so once all prepped, we can go ahead and drill our hole. Then all you're going to do is get your anchor and pop it into the hole. Push it nice and tight against the plasterboard. You then should have something that looks like that. Now because we're not doing this with a screwdriver, we're doing this with a setting tool, we can go ahead and screw in the bolt like so. With the setting tool it makes it damn sight easier. If you was doing it by hand you'd have to put a bracket behind it to stop the spin. So you'd have to put a bracket between the bolt and the anchor. So all we're going to do now is use a setting tool and as you can see what you have to do is get the bolt just after this black marker here. Both setting tools are exactly the same and then what it will do is you pull the trigger it will pull out the anchor behind and set it behind the plasterboard. Screw the screw in just enough so you can get the setting tool in there to pull out the anchor, like so. And then you're just gonna squeeze the trigger and it should pop out the setting behind. Perfect. Now you can go ahead and remove this and pop on your shelf, fixing, whatever it is you might have to, have to hang on plasterboard. So as you can see, they are very easy to use. This is my favorite one, just because it's got a nice spring action there and you can release it with the trigger. This one's decent, it's not bad. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth more than the other one, but that's for you to judge for yourself, see which one you prefer. So I hope this video has helped. Make sure you let me know in the comments which fixings you do prefer on site or to use at home. And again, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.